Women in STEM can face many challenges uh, from early childhood all the way to late career. And a big reason is that women are simply underrepresented in these fields. There's just not enough of us. Yeah, they're trying to change that. Science, technology, engineering, math, commonly known as STEM, has traditionally been a male-dominated field, but that is, in fact, changing. And tonight, in-depth reporter Anthony Hill finds out what's being done to encourage more young women to consider those careers. Graduation day, industrial engineer, USF. I was so proud, I was so happy. Young engineer, fresh eyes, I couldn't wait. Didn't know what the road had ahead for me, but I was excited to get started. Shanita Malloy didn't know that soon after graduation, she'd be working on circuit boards and GPS systems for NASA spacecraft. You know that you're building something that is going to go into space, so you go to sleep with that every night. Three, two, one, zero, and liftoff. And Shanita's not the only engineer in her family. Her older sister is also an engineer. So it wasn't like a, Ooh, can I do this? Right, I know right. I could do it. So would you say your sister was your inspiration? For sure, yeah. for sure. Though Shanita never doubted her abilities to thrive as an engineer, as a woman, she was a minority in the STEM field. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, in 1970, women made up 38% of the workforce in the United States, but only 8% of STEM workers. Today, Women make up nearly half the workforce, but account for just 27% of STEM workers. An increase from decades ago, but still a very male-dominated field. Young girls get involved in math and science, and then at some point in middle school, they, they lose interest in STEM. There is, however, a push to get more girls in the Bay Area to consider careers in STEM. Trudy Daniels is with the Tampa chapter of an organization called Women in Defense. They provide STEM scholarships for girls in the Bay Area. We've given out scholarships to the John Glenn Academy and um, to the Pinellas County School System, to Hillsborough County, um, their girls in STEM summer camp program. Since 2017, they've awarded about 65 scholarships. What is the reaction that you guys see from, from these girls? They're very excited. So they're always, um, wow, this was a great opportunity. I really opened my eyes. It was very cool what we were able to do. I never thought of myself as the science type, but it turns out I am the science type. As far as racial and gender equity goes, we need every idea, every diverse perspective in order to solve problems. Uh, Dr. Jayshree Sait is a scientist with 3M and is one of the stars of the award-winning docuseries called Not the Science Type. In the series, she talks about the obstacles she's had to overcome as an Indian woman in STEM and the importance of making STEM accessible to everyone. I'll say that the experience of having your story be told is quite surreal, uh, but it also reinforced for me how challenges can be reframed and how they can actually give deep motivation to grow despite the detractors. As for Shanita, she no longer works in STEM. She now works in finance. And though it may seem like those two careers couldn't be any more different from each other, she says her engineering background made her more marketable for her new career. And I said, well, I don't have a lot of experience in this specific field, but I think I can pick it up. He was like, oh, you can do this in your sleep. I know you can because you're an engineer. In Lakeland, I'm in-depth reporter Anthony Hill, ABC Action News.